from Delta Door. Um, and it's an internet gateway that will enable you to control your heating from your mobile phone, smartphone, tablet, or computer. Um, right now, Rob's just wiring up our pilot wire receiver um, to a Nido radiator, and uh, we should be able to uh, install it and get it working soon. Here we have the receiver that is controlled by the Tidem app. Um, I will just show you the connections on this. We've just put them in a, a connector block just for simplicity. But on the, the receiver you have a black which is a pilot wire which gets connected to the pilot wire of the radiator. A live and a neutral which goes in the load out on the switch view spur with the load out live and neutral of the radiator. In the box we have the Tidem gateway. We also have an ethernet cable and a power cable and obviously the instructions as to how to set it up. Uh, well, Basically all I've done at the moment is connected up the, the Tidem and uh, to do that you plug in the ethernet cable first uh -huh. yeah. and then the power of the ethernet cable obviously goes directly into the router. Okay. Once you've done that, simply download yeah. the TDA map, which we're yeah, going to do now. Just uh, found, yeah. And we'll say install. T-Y-D-O-M, is it? Yeah. Okay. Accept. You may need to put in your password. Um, we'll wait for that to download. All right. And once okay. it is, we'll open up. Select it open, obviously. The okay, Delta so Door logo already. comes up. All right. This will be your home page. Right. The identifier, or the... Uh, Username uh -huh, is okay. the MAC address, which is at the back on the back of, of the, the and that's the, the top tie. window. The top window on here. It is the identifier. No, that's it. Right. Well, what, what we're going to do now is connect up the receiver to the control pad, namely the phone. Um, at the moment, we're just going to make sure that the uh, receiver switch is on. So that's just plugged into the radio. That is just connected up into the radio. Oh, exactly that. Right. right. What we're going to do is put it into learn mode. So press and hold that for three seconds. And it's got an intermediate flash. That's in learning mode. And now on the app, we're going to go into the heating section. Yeah. Select which type of product it is. Uh -huh. We're going to oh, choose right. the receiver and click next. That's neat. Yeah. That there is the code for the receiver. Yeah. RF six. How, how do I know that is that the code? Did we get told it's written that? over here oh, okay. as well. As long as that code comes up, you can use any one of these products. Yeah. Go into the heating. This is where we choose the network. Mm -hmm. You can have up to 32 heating zones wow. if you need to. We're just going to select network 1 and start searching. What it does is it'll search until it finds that product. Product 1 has come up. It's found it. Mm -hmm. The light on the receiver has stopped flashing. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, now you have the heating 1 as the product name. What we can do is change the name by going into the settings, selecting Heating 1, and changing the name. And it's in off. Done. So it's turned it off now. Yeah. Right. This here is a transmitter, and what this will allow you to do is to create a two way lighting system. Instead of running chasing, up and around to another lighting point, all you do is sync another back box, wire that directly to the switch, it comes with a battery, and stick it inside the back box. This is the back to control box. it. Exactly, this is the back box. To simply control it on and off. What you'll find then is in your existing back box, you'll need to put one of these either in the back box or in the ceiling rows. Right. Because we've just installed the um, receiver now, we're going to get it to associate to the, um, to the phone. Right. Press and hold that button down for three seconds, and you should get a red flashing light just yeah, over here. Yeah, I see that. Once that's flashing, and then go to the phone and go into the lighting mode. Yeah. Again, same oh, simple so setup. Same as the heating one. Network one, search, and start looking. What we'll oh, do is right. continue to look. That's exactly that. Now. The red light's still flashing. Once it's found it, it'll come up saying product one. Go into the photos, tap the light, ah. and it switches it off. Tap it again, 
and it switches on. And you can hear it click. Yeah. Exactly that. Go into home and you And to control done. the heating, same thing, just Exactly. Same thing with the heating. And that just adjusts the actual radiator itself. Yeah. Adjust that one radiator. Copy over everything that we've just done to another device. So Go I want to put it on my wife's device or, exactly. or something like that. Go into the settings, select data transfer, select save on Tidem server, save the configuration, it'll save. Once it's done that, all you need to do is access the server from the other device. And that will put all the settings you put on, the pictures, yeah, yeah. everything, all the settings you've got for zone. I'm not 100% certain about the pictures, uh -huh. but the settings. Right, all the settings. That exactly you that. So that's done. It's finished. Now all we need to do is go on to the next device. Mm -hmm. I need to add the um, settings you've just sent to the box onto this new phone. Exactly that. So we've gone onto the, uh, the new phone. Yeah. Go back into the settings. Select data transfer. And then say restore Tidem server backup. Restore Excellent. the configuration, say yes, so this it could, searches for a little bit, yeah. and away you go. And this could be if you upgrade your phone, get a new phone, and you can have it exactly as, as many thing. phones as you like, or yep. lots of phones, yep. so you can connect as many as you want. Can have one. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're just going to add the buttons again uh, to this device. Go into the add a button, select the light, and put the light where we want it to. Okay. Then add another button. Add the thermostat, put that there, and add one more button, Excellent. and put that there. Yeah, and if you're not in the room at the time, you can always get the person to send you that photo, can't you? Exactly you don't that. Have to, have to be there. Yeah, you can do exactly that. So to switch it on and off again. Let's go into home, photos, switch the lights ah, on and off. It's easy.